The last few years have seen a host of scientific discoveries and many of these more exciting cases have been within the field of archaeology. The field unravels the history and cultural practices of human civilization, telling us all about the past and giving us insights into the making of modern society. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three archaeological discoveries. The Magical Abilities of the Bosnian Pyramids The Earth might be tiny compared to other planets, but it for sure has a lot of variety. One mysterious structure that has caused many to ask questions is that of the Pyramids of Bosnia. The Pyramids of Giza are truly impressive, but the giant Pyramids of Bosnia are just as impressive. One of the local archaeologists in Bosnia made a claim related to the Bosnian Pyramids. He believes they are at least 30,000 years old, which is 20,000 years earlier than what our history taught us. The Bosnian pyramids are a massive complex of five different pyramids. The entire complex can be found near a small town, 30 kilometers northwest of Sarajevo in Bosnia. Some of the scientists refuse to even look at them, and they claim that the archaeologist is just trying to secure funding and get more tourists in Bosnia. Of course, not all of the scientists refuse to know more. Organic fossils have been found inside the chambers that have been excavated. The find suggests that the pyramids are approximately 30,000 years old. This is surprising considering we have been taught that the ancient structures were not nearly as old as this. Just like the Egyptian pyramids, the pyramids of Bosnia also orient to the cosmic north. What makes the pyramids of Bosnia so special is the fact they are 15 times more accurate than the Pyramid of Giza. The top of each pyramid, dragon, sun and moon, also forms a flawlessly perfect equilateral triangle. Another interesting discovery is that researchers have detected and measured an energy beam that gets released from the top of the Bosnian Pyramid. What surprised the researchers is that when the distances increase, the energy beam does not become weaker. Incredibly, it actually becomes stronger and more intense. Tests have been carried out and it was reported that the energy beam has a diameter of between 5 and 9 meters. Some archaeologists have called the pyramid an energy machine. The underground chambers of the pyramids seem to feature ionization levels that are much higher than the outside. Some even suggest that the pyramid and the energy it gives off have different healing properties. Have researchers found a 300 million year old screw embedded into rock? Finding fossilized remains in ancient rock is one thing, but how about a 100 million year old screw that isn't even from this planet? A Russian team sent to investigate a meteorite crater in the region of Kalaga, western Russia, only expected to find space rock and rubble, but instead found something even more extraterrestrial. Near to the crater hole, the team happened upon a rock dislodged and partially fragmented by the impact of the nearby meteorite. What they found in there was a very strange object, the curiousness of which needed further scientific analysis to confirm exactly what they had found. A paleontological analysis was performed, and it was confirmed that in the centre of the rock itself was a screw, not placed there by human design, but rather strongly embedded within, suggesting it had fallen to the ground at some point only to be encased over time. Tests showed that the iron atoms of the screw and silicon rock atoms spread and fused together, confirming that the screw and rock had been in each other's company for a significant time. It was also concluded that the screw was not the result of natural process, but indeed artificially fashioned. What was even more strange, however, was what geologists said about the age of the rock. Radiocarbon dating placed it to be over 300 million years old. Needless to say, this was a long time before any humans, or their tools for that matter, had ever been on this planet. So how did it get there? Nigel Watson, an expert of the extraterrestrial, believes this could be ancient evidence of aliens visiting Earth a long time ago, with the screw being a part of their landing craft on this planet. This screw could actually be part of many reports that talk of spheres, toothed wheels, manufactured bots and footprints embedded in rocks and stones hundreds of millions of years old. Government scientists insist that this is actually the result of a natural formation, 
even perhaps being an ancient marine animal that bears some similarity in its looks. However, with this particular rock formation secured in a research facility beyond independent geological and archaeological specialists, it is clear that we will not be getting to the truth of the matter anytime soon. The Roman Dodecahedrons Our first mystery dates back to the Romans. It's a hollow object with 12 equally sized faces. The first Roman dodecahedron was found more than 200 years ago and since then around a hundred more have been unearthed around what was the Roman Empire. Some of these locations include that of Wales, Hungary, Spain, Italy, Germany and France to name a few. But the twelve faces are about the only uniform thing about the Roman dodecahedrons. Some are made of bronze while others are made of stone and their size has varied from a golf ball to bigger than a football. In fact, one of the only things that experts are sure of when it comes to these mysterious objects is that they were extremely valuable. Many of the Roman dodecahedrons were made from metal, an expensive and difficult material to craft in Roman times, and were discovered in treasure hoards alongside other precious items such as coins. Beside their value, there hasn't been much agreement from experts into the purpose of the Roman dodecahedrons. Evidence is scarce. None were found with any inscriptions, nor is there any mention of the objects in contemporary documents. Experts having examined the Roman dodecahedrons have put forward uses of the object spanning from knitting to weaponry. Granted, some theories of the Roman dodecahedron's use have proved more feasible than others. For example, the idea that they might have been used as weapons has been dismissed by many experts. The usual heavy and robust lead balls the Romans favoured firing from their slings in wartime sharply contrast to the light and delicate Roman dodecahedrons. However, the link between Roman dodecahedrons and weaponry cannot be completely dismissed. The different locations in which these artefacts were unearthed could link to war zones in the Roman Empire. And just because the objects might not have been used as weapons doesn't mean they weren't still in use in a military context. Hence, some experts have proposed the Roman dodecahedrons could have been used as a range-measuring object on the battlefield. This also explains why so many of these artifacts varied in size and shape. The differentiation of the objects would allow for different ranges to be measured. However, before celebrating that the mystery has been solved, some experts have questioned why the Roman dodecahedrons would then have no markings or inscriptions on them if they were being used as a military mathematical instrument. Another line of thinking is that the Roman artifacts might have held a mystical power for the Romans. One was found in a grave belonging to a wealthy woman in the Netherlands, mounted onto a staff. Its placement suggests that it was seen as giving some magical power to the owner. Another related line of thinking is that the twelve sides of the Roman dodecahedrons might be a reference to Plato's statement. This was that a dodecahedron shape was used for embroidering the constellations on the whole heaven and the astrological zodiac. Therefore, some experts have proposed that the Roman dodecahedrons might have been used as astronomic measuring instruments to determine when to prepare the grain. If the Roman artifacts were held in such high esteem by the Romans, it would explain why so many show so little signs of wear and tear. Then again, there is no contemporary document to support this claim. It's important to come to one definitive conclusion of the purpose of the Roman dodecahedrons. The objects continue to baffle experts, but what can be agreed by all is the uniqueness of this Roman treasure.